week's discussion is really an add-in to Module 5, and it's entitled Using the Five-Step Plan. And this is a visual guide developed by your peers, and you'll observe their name on the upcoming slide. Uh, Dr. Dog just thought he'd share this good work with you because it's very well done. When we look at our five-step plan for flowing through these difficult problems on the differences of two means and the differences of two proportions, what they've done is just given us a visual representation of that. And here are the, here are the blessed group are. This is Ada Group from summer 2010. And they did a real good job developing this. We have, first of all, the requirement that we identify the required values. Now, to do that, you have to read the problem, work through the problem, identify what you know, take what you what they tell you and figure out what you need to know and what, you know how you can get there. You may have to calculate a p hat one and a p hat two and then find q hat one and two and so forth. Once you find the required values, and in this problem, of course, they're talking about mu1 and mu2 and so forth, you have to refine the difference of x bar 1 minus x bar 2. Now, once you've done that, you get your z or t score. Remember, z score is used when both groups have uh, 30 or more. A t score is used if either group has less than 30. And if you use a t-score for these, you have the confidence level, but the degree of freedom is given by the formula n minus 2. Once you do that, you find the weighted standard deviation, and that's the square root of, oh my gracious, s1 squared divided by n1 plus s2 squared divided by n2. Then you put those things into the formula, plug in your values, you simplify using the algebraic order of operations. Now, five steps, and I don't know what this does for you, but I tend to think in linear terms. If I can break things down into step one, step two, step three, then, you know, I'm going to make it. And, and I can, then if I'm not doing it right, I can figure out what step that I'm making my mistake in. Very well done. To Ada Group, I congratulate you for the beauty of your diagram. Have a blessed day.